had to wash these strings because they was dirty as hell, yo. These are actually one of my favorite shoes because I feel like they just go with everything. But anyway, today is my rest day. And I call it my rest day because sometimes you just gotta rest and reset. So today I'm resetting and part of my reset is doing laundry and get myself ready for the week. So like every time I come on here, I'd be like, I haven't been on here in a while. I feel like I haven't talked to you all in a while. I feel like with content creation nowadays, it's like, y'all probably saw my last video, but I'd be wanting to chill. You know, I'd be wanting to be immersed into the environment. I don't want to be vlogging all the time. I don't want to, I don't want to be shooting all the time. Like, I feel like sometimes that takes away from your experience wherever you're at. So sometimes I just don't be in the mood to vlog because I just want to be in the moment. I've been vlogging less, even though my goal was to vlog more. That comes with content creation. You have your, you have your, your flow. Sometimes you're in your flow. Sometimes you're not. Sometimes you're in your season, and sometimes you're not. So I feel like that's where I'm at right now with the content. I think for me, I'm just a creative. As long as I could be creative in some type of way, whether that's photography, video, making videos for you all, making videos like I just like creativity and I like to be able to think of something in my head and make it come to life. Like I feel like that's when I get the most satisfaction. It's like I come up with an idea, put the idea on paper and then make that idea happen. Whether that's for me, other people, that's when I feel the most fulfilled. I like street photography. I like going out and shooting. Like I like doing all that stuff and then coming back, editing the photos, things like that. I'm thinking about making a separate page just for like, I might call it like lost files or something like that. Just where I could just post random pictures. It could be the beautiful sky. It could be a sunset. It could be some street photography. It could be anything, but just somewhere to house that stuff. So you all can see it. Cause a lot of times it's just sit on my hard drive and I don't post it. And them photos would be dope now. I ain't even gonna lie. They, they be dope. So I feel like I gotta put it out to the world. Look at that. Strings. I need to clean these too though, but at least I got these strings in there. Also, I feel like everybody has been raving about the Fujifilm X100V. I had that camera when it first came out and I ended up selling it. Then I regretted it because the resale value of it was, still is insane. So I ended up picking up the Fujifilm XE4. I'm actually using it right now. And the reason why I like it because it's actually versatile. It's a hybrid camera. So it allows me to have a compact system when it comes to running and gun shooting, photography, things like that. And it's a small camera. I don't know if y'all ever seen it before. Look at this. Look at this lens. Y'all see this lens? This is the smallest lens I've ever seen in my life. So like if I'm doing street photography, I could pop this on real quick and still get some quality. I'm very excited about this camera. Hopefully it's looking good. I still have my Canon as well, but you know, I'm just trying different things out because I want a camera that's all in one where I don't have to take a vlogging camera all the time. This right here can vlog. Like I could take it off right here and boom, I got y'all with me. I'm moving around, still should be stabilized because the lens that I have on here right now is a stabilized lens and it's not heavy. Like, I feel like I might've found the perfect camera setup, guys. I didn't think that I would. Now, let me put y'all back on here real quick because I'm kind of, oh, oh, wait, wait, oh. Look, I gotta watch my back, I gotta watch my back Dodging demons, coppers, coppers probably hate me cause I'm black I don't know, I be spreading love, sometimes ain't mutual Just a seed that's from that darkness, but that's what it takes to grow Still in flow, still in motion, couple homies with me And we sipping on that potion, wide away for dreams Why these other niggas dozing, shut the fuck up When the realest niggas spoken, the realest niggas spoken, yeah I gotta watch my back, I gotta watch my back, ay. I gotta watch my back, I gotta watch my back, hey. I gotta watch my back, I gotta watch my back. Dodge your demons, coppers, coppers, probably.
But yeah, I want you all to think about like rest days, man. Like I think everybody need a day to reset, decompress, get things done that they really need to get done. It doesn't necessarily have to be on a weekend. It doesn't necessarily have to be on a Sunday. You can have a rest day on a Monday or Tuesday. It just depends on your schedule. So I think for me, I enjoy having a rest day on a weekend. So whether that's a Saturday or a Sunday, because I know I don't have to think about work. I don't have to think about going in. I don't have to think about emails, anything like that. I can just focus on resetting and making sure that I can put myself first and I'm the priority for that day. I know for me during the week, you know, you got other things going on, weekly tasks, uh, going to work, things like that. But the purpose of the rest day is to really be in your own space, in your own comfort, and really get things done. Journaling, writing things down, thinking about ways to um, get to the next level. And then also that includes things that you do around the house, right? So laundry, that includes cleaning up, that includes a deep clean sometimes. You know, sometimes you need that particular day to get stuff done around the house and personally. So I feel like that's what my rest days are for. That's what my reset days are for. And it feels good. Like today, I feel good. It feels great. You gotta give yourself space to do that though. Like you can't sugarcoat it. You can't brush it under the rug you need a rest day you need a reset day guys I don't know if you all follow me on Instagram but if you follow me on Instagram you probably have seen where I have two cars now I have a car where it's my daily commute well my daily my daily commuter car and it's also my running errands car it's also my hauling things around car and my gas saving car so this is my this is my new baby right here you know what i'm saying it's a 2011 honda fit you know it ain't it ain't the prettiest but it's but it's my baby you know it's my baby so this thing right here got some good gas mileage on it my audi of course it takes premium gas and it burns through the gas quick so you know i go to i go in the office like three days a week so I was like, I need something to, that's going to help me save money going to the office. So that's why I purchased this guy. I'm glad I did because I'm not putting as many miles on my Audi. You know, I'm able to preserve my Audi as well. I don't know if y'all heard that, but it was a random noise. Also, I'm getting into cycling. So I have me a new bike right here. This bike is, I got this bike from, where I got it from, Target. But I'm getting cycling more, so... That's a part of the journey as well, is just trying to stay fit, trying to stay in shape. And, you know, I can go running. I used to be an avid runner. But now I don't like to run like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, I could get out and run, but it's something better about just cycling, getting out, seeing the scenery, getting places quicker. I have a trail by my house. I just hop on the bike, go to the trail, easy. I'm making big adult decisions out here. Um, while also, you know, sticking true to myself, staying true to me, I ain't never changing, I ain't trying to be on no cloud stuff, you know what I'm saying, really trying to make sure that I keep tapping into who I am as a man and not thinking about what social media think and things like that, like, those are hard things to do in this day and time, you know, like, social media make it where you, y'all know, I done made a video about it, so I'm enjoying, I am enjoying life, I can say that. I feel like they might as well just stop wasting paper at this point because when they be sending mail, it don't be nothing. And then the stuff they do send, I mean, I feel like you could just get an email with it in there. Like, they wasting paper at this point, right? Like, none of this is stuff that I, that I need. Like, I try to tell you, man. But one downside about having two cars is having to keep both cars maintenance and cleaned because I, I can't ride in a dirty car y'all like i gotta have my car vacuumed you know what i'm saying i can't go on a weekend i can't I, like i can't be driving on a weekend with a dirty car mats dirty outside they're like it makes me feel good to drive in a clean car and i'm pretty sure a lot of my males on here understand like you can't be moving out here with a dirty car. Even with my second car, you know, like I ain't got no paint job or nothing on it. 
but I keep that mug clean. I keep that mug clean, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm thinking about doing some things to it. You know, I've always wanted a Honda Civic so I can make it like a tuna car, lower it a little bit, get some wheels on it, you know what I'm saying? Tint the windows, something like that. So I might look into doing that with the um, Honda Fit hatchback, you know what I'm saying? I know I will tint the windows because I can't be riding around here in a fishbowl in Atlanta because, you know, when you stopping at the light, the water boys looking you in your eye, the homeless people looking you in your eyes, people trying to solicit money, people saying, that they ain't had foods and I understand but I'd rather not make eye contact with the tinted window <laughs> I still want to do some additional things to my Audi right now it's pretty much where I want to be but I do want to black black in the tail lights I do want to dip the rims in black um, and get my emblems painted black too so that's probably gonna be my last project on my on my Audi, but I think my project really is gonna be that Honda Fit eventually. Um, Cause I always wanted to like a, a little hatchback, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know y'all done played that Need for Speed. Don't act like you ain't played it. You had that little hatchback, you know what I'm saying? Whipping and going through the streets of Midnight Club, Need for Speed, whatever you was playing. Had that jump low to the ground, neon lights, all that, you know? I think every, I think everybody that played had them little hatchback hooked up. So I might do that, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't trying to expense too much money on it, you know? I'm still cautious about my money, still be practicing minimalism here and there you know what i'm saying which i need to do an update video on that i haven't really did an update on minimalism you know what i'm saying minimalism is hard guys i ain't even gonna i ain't even gonna cap i ain't even gonna cap like my place is pretty minimal you know i still keep it minimal wardrobe it's still hard for me to keep my wardrobe minimal i ain't even gonna lie i, I can't even cap with y'all <laughs> i don't know i don't know i don't know On my shoulder blades and i got the vision yeah it's clear i ain't in the maze still amazing save my graces ain't been saving faces gotta get all the things i know i want because i've been chasing i hate doing laundry it's something you gotta do right how many y'all hate doing laundry put in the comment section if you hate doing laundry and if you do hate doing laundry is it the washing part or is it the folding part i think for me it's more so the folding part because washing to me that that don't take no time but folding I feel like it just takes forever. Then by the time you fold your clothes, you wash another load and now you gotta fold them again. So it's like a, a never ending cycle. You always gonna be washing and you always gonna be folded. It's like every other day almost. That's what it feel like, <laughs> feel like to me. But back to the rest, of course, the, the reason for this video, right? I think we live in a world where we get so caught up trying to go 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 do 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 accomplish 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 but we don't have time to really sit back and rest don't have time to really sit back and enjoy the fruit of our labor enjoy having some downtime and you know i'm one of them content creators where i like to preach for you to have consistency i like to preach for you to keep going at your goals but also you got to take time for yourself you got to take time for your mental you know so that's what I've been doing. So y'all ain't been seeing me that much or posting as much as I used to because for probably three years straight, I posted a, a video every single Tuesday. And if not every single Tuesday, almost every single Tuesday. And then it got to a point to where I was like, damn, like I'm putting in a whole bunch of work and I haven't had time to travel. I haven't had time to spend time with family. I haven't had time to spend time with friends like that because I was always editing. I was always shooting. I was always editing. Now I'm very cautious about how much I exert myself into content creation. And I learned that I love creating in general. So if I'm able to take pictures, if I'm able to go out while I'm traveling, take pictures, do a video here and there, I'm happy. I don't have to have a video out every single week. You know, it gets to be a lot, especially when you got other things going on in life, you know? So that's what I've been doing. So I haven't forgot about y'all. You know what I'm saying? I haven't, I haven't given up on 
on my channel. It's just I'm taking time for myself here and there, you know what I'm saying? And I appreciate y'all that respect that because we all human content creators or not. We all human and we all have to look out for ourselves. So that's what I want y'all to do though, you know? I know some of you all aren't content creators, but you work a nine to five or you work 12 hour shifts. Make sure you take time for yourself. Use your PTO, use your sick time, take time, rest because time is precious. I love this setup. I love this backdrop. This probably is gonna be my new sit down set whenever I start making some more sit down videos. So don't want y'all to be surprised if y'all see something switch up. I feel like what I'm doing nowadays is I'm being very particular about my time, energy, and effort, which I've always been particular about that, but I'm very, very cognizant of it now. Um, because life is short, y'all. Like, before you know it, you know, people dropping off, your time is gonna be up. Like, you have to make the best of your time, and sometimes we get caught up in doing things for other people and not doing things for ourselves. So, you gotta take that time for yourself, yo. And it's hard because you want to go at your dreams and your goals at 100%, but sometimes you can lose sight in yourself. And sometimes along the journey, you lose the spark that you've had for what you're trying to achieve. And you never want that. And the reason why you lose that is because you spend day in, day out going hard every single day to try to get these accomplishments as quick as possible. But at the end of the day, it's all in God's timing and you have to believe and you have to believe in God knows what's best for you. And you have to have faith that, you kind of have to have faith in what you don't see. You gotta have faith that whatever going on in your life is for a reason, whatever signs that you're getting is for a reason. And you have to dig into that deeper because there's a higher power that knows exactly how your life is supposed to go, what's best for you. And these things are happening so you can be led to your purpose and so you can be led to what you're truly destined to be on this earth. But you have to have faith and you have to believe. So that's what I've been doing. Like, I feel like I haven't had the calling to be making videos every single week, dropping videos day in, day out, every single Tuesday. That, I feel like that hasn't been what my calling has been you know what i'm saying it's more so like when you get that feeling when you get that urge create and when you don't have that urge you know take some time for yourself and do that so i implore you all to do that too whether it's with creation whether it's with your goals whether it's with your work endeavors you know do what feels right but don't stretch yourself thin because at the end of the day you're only going to take a hit to your own personal well-being and you won't be able to function at your highest capacity because your mind is so bogged down with i gotta do this i gotta do this this time like it's so calculated to where you don't have time to reset you don't have time to sit back and think like maybe i'm going about this the wrong way maybe right now is not my time for this maybe what i'm trying to accomplish so much i'm going hard at it and nothing is moving maybe that's not exactly where i need to be focusing my energy right now in my life and that's okay so if y'all don't get anything from this video, focus, have faith, reset, rest, and also still be consistent at the same time. You know what I'm saying? Be consistent enough to where you're still putting out. Be consistent enough where you still see small, minor growth as well. But just because your growth isn't exponential, that doesn't mean that you're not growing. When you plant a seed, you don't know how fast you're gonna see it sprout and come through the soil. And that's just like with your goals, you know what I'm saying? You're planting seeds, but you don't know how fast something's gonna sprout. You don't know how fast something's gonna pop. You don't know how fast, but you just gotta be patient, wait, and have faith that eventually you're going to enjoy the fruit of your labor. You're going to enjoy all the work that you've been putting in. But if you keep forcing it, if you keep pushing it, nine times out of 10, it's harder for those things to come into fruition because you're not letting the timing happen the way it's supposed to. But that's all I'm gonna say today. You know, I ain't gonna say too much, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to pop in real quick, check on y'all. I'm doing well, I'm doing great. I do wanna say thank you to those of you that 
follow me on instagram check on me here and there you know what i'm saying y'all are the real mvps i appreciate it i appreciate all y'all that rock with me from day one like i say that a lot but without y'all and y'all support it would be hard to be where i am today <laughs> Still trying to get to 100,000 subscribers. We gonna get there. Ain't no rush, like I say, ain't no rush, but we gonna get there. But make sure you share. Make sure you do your due diligence to help me out as I'm helping you all out as well. But I appreciate y'all, I'll catch y'all next video. Peace. Have you seen it lately? I gotta watch my back, 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 ayy. I gotta watch my back, I gotta watch my back. Dodging demons, coppers, hoppers, probably hate me cause I'm black. I don't know. I gotta watch my back, I gotta watch my back, ayy. I gotta watch my back, I gotta watch my back, ayy.